Hi, my name is Paige Lederwood and I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas. I'm studying accounting and will re be returning to school next year to get my master's in accountancy. The piece I chose today is located at Crystal Bridges in Bentonville, Arkansas. It's called Tobacco Sorters and was painted by Thomas Hart Benton. Artist Thomas Hart Benton was known as a great American painter and muralist and was on the forefront of the regionalist art movement. He painted ordinary Midwestern people where he was born and spent most of his life. He studied in Paris and lived in New York for a portion of his life and painted many of his works there. He eventually settled down and began teaching at the Kansas City Art Institute and later in life wrote an autobiography, An Artist in America. The piece Tobacco Sorters was created in 1941 when Benton was hired by the American Tobacco Company to create images for the cigarette advertisement. Benton traveled to Georgia and Southern California to study tobacco farmers in preparation for this piece. He used his neighbors to model for this painting and the observations he saw there. When he finished painting the piece, the company was not happy with the work he did because they felt that the girl was too small in the piece and that it re could represent that tobacco stunted the girl's growth. Benton thought this was one of his best paintings, however, so he bought the painting back and sold it to friends in Kansas City. This piece has nationalistic value for its time period and location. During the 1930s and 1940s, in the southern part of the United States, tobacco farming was a large part of the culture. This piece shows a, father, a farmer, probably the girl's grandfather, teaching her about tobacco leaves in the family farm. Through this piece, Benton was able to show the culture of the South and how many of these farms were family businesses passed down. The people in this figure are naturalistic as well as the animals and scenery behind them. The male figure is geometrically stylized, which can be seen in the wrinkles in both his face and down his arm. It takes away from the naturalism of the painting because of the wrinkles in his face are very unrealistic with the human body. The girl in the painting appears more naturalistic than the male. Her hair is stylized but looks naturally pulled back. The male figure is much more unrealistic looking at the wrinkles in his hands and his face which is very stylized and not natural. Benton did a good job in creating depth in the image using foreshortening to make in the images in the back appear farther away than the girl and the man. This painting can also be described using the icon iconography approach, which emphasizes the content of art. This image tells us a story behind the image of a girl who lived at her family farm. You can see the old man trying to teach the little girl about the tobacco leaf, which would have been the family business. This piece was created to be a tobacco advertisement to show how the industry is a family affair and to convince people to buy more tobacco products. The little girl appears eager to learn about the tobacco leaves and is shown with movement leaning in towards the leaf and her grandfather to learn more. This would have been similar to what Benton saw growing up in the Midwest and in the South. Benton was influenced by Michelangelo and studied his work, which allows us to see many similarities in their work. In Michelangelo's piece, Donny Tondo, there are many similarities in the people portrayed in this as in tobacco sorters. These paintings are similar that there is interaction and movement shown between the people. The people are also very stylized in their clothing, and there are many vibrant colors used to depict the scenes. There are also many similarities in the movements of the early Renaissance that appear in this piece. The figures during this period were very stylized, and also the fabric was shown as very elegant and appeared to have movement to them, much like the clothing and leaves in Benton's piece. Artwork during this time had a very vibrant colors, and there is use of shading between characters to show depth. There is also a great use of scale to make the images in the back of the barn, people, and horses appear at a distance compared to the grandfather and little girl. I chose this piece because I thought it was unique to see a painting about tobacco farming. In today's culture, we really don't see tobacco farming portrayed as a family affair because of all of the problems we now know about nicotine and tobacco. I thought the stylization of the old man was beautiful and I enjoyed all the detail that went into the piece, even in the background. This reminded me of the Renaissance style and how there is detail in all aspects of the piece. When I looked up Benton as a painter, I found that he was near from a small town near where I grew up. I thought this was really cool that he portrayed the Midwest in most of his pieces. When I was a kid, I grew up near my grandparents' farm. I grew up learning about the farm from my grandpa, which is what reminded me of this piece. In this piece, there's a grandfather teaching his daughter, granddaughter about tobacco farming, which is what my grandpa often did with me about the farm. I really enjoyed this piece because of the stylization of it and the, rem the remnants of what it has to my hometown.